and we're going to go um, just a little bit up the road to Chris in Powdersville. How are you doing today, Chris? I'm well. How are you? I'm doing fine. What do you have for well, us today? Well, we had a hawk show up, and he's been hanging around, so I got the camera out with the telephoto lens. It's a Cooper hawk. Ah, oh, uh, awesome. But what I'm really surprised about is his level of brazenness. I mean, he sits on our four-foot <laughs> fence at the garage door. But I think what's really brought him in, which I find most unusual, is he's eating all the earthworms that get flooded out from all the rains we've had. And I was curious if that was a normal <laughs> behavior because I think of them more as looking for the mice that we have in the field behind us. And they spend, he spends very little time there, and he is by himself. So I just wanted to hear what you folks had to say about him, and I'll take your comments. Off the air. All right. And Matt, you know, okay. So yeah, there's 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 normal and but you know, I'm really tempted to throw that word out of my vocabulary, out of my <laughs> lexicon when it comes to birds, because immediately when you tell people, guess what, this is what this bird is gonna do, it's not gonna do it. So right. she's talking about Cooper's hawks and Cooper's hawks excipiters, and I have to admit, a lot of people don't like these. These are the these are the hawks that show up at your feeder and use your feeder as a bird banquet. You know, it's, right. it's kind of it's kind of like, a, you know, they see it as a smorgasbord, so they can pick off a chickadee, pick off a titmouse, or, or a house finch. But Matt, Cooper's hawks and earthworms, you know, it's a much easier meal, I suppose. Never heard of a thing like that before. Yeah, and I, you know, and I would really like, I would really like for Chris, um, you've, you're taking the pictures, you know, send us some photos so that we can take a look at it, um, because it's certainly... What you would think of as unusual behavior, Matt, but it's easy pickings. It is, especially now with all this rain we had. Yeah, yeah. A lot of the times the earthworms come out, and we usually see robins. I usually see them, you know, going to town on the earthworms. Um, but I haven't heard of Cooper Cooper's hawks doing that before. <laughs> yeah, and and again, excipiters are bird hawks. They are. You know, these and they're built. They're built for maneuverability. They're amazing athletes. We were talking about the Super Bowl. And I want folks to think about the birds kind of as athletes. And when you see a Cooper's hawk, you see that long tail. You see kind of those short, rounded wings. And those birds are built for maneuvering through obstacles, through forests, and chasing birds. So using those wings to quickly maneuver and using that tail as a rudder, they are amazing birds and some of my favorite birds. So, Matt, Cooper's hawks, earthworms, not normal. Birds not normal. Not normal at all. <laughs>